Father. Religion is weird for me because from what I was taught, we were all born or created in God's image. I have been to at least seven or eight different religions through my lifetime. And one thing I get from each religion and everything that they, they teach pretty much from all the ones that I've experienced is that we are created in God's image. I'm not the wisest person or smartest person or the coolest person on the world. But if I'm created in the image of the person that created everything, then I am what I was created to be, the image of God. I am God. And it teaches somewhere that this says, uh, your body is your temple. If you are God, and I am God, and our bodies are our temples, who should we pray to? Who should we worship? based on the philosophies in which I've learned through the different churches and religions that I've experienced, we worship God. We worship ourselves. Um, I've been baptized. I've seen, I've, you know, I've, I've done, I read the Watchtower. I, I, I look at the internet and everything ever created, everything ever linked to religion is linked to itself. And we are made in God's image. We are gods. So in my philosophy, which I I think that say say for instance God is some alien being or some species wandering the galaxy and this species of whatever it is or whatever is dying I use the dying philosophy you know as sort of a, a, a reason so I'm a dying entity a dying being going throughout the galaxy every place I stop every world I land on I'm going to create life in my image because I'm God everywhere I go everything I see because I'm not going to be here much longer. I'm going to make everything just like me. So maybe there's a point or a part of me that will be able to, to regenerate itself or, or just to, to live on forever because I've created me everywhere I went. <clears throat> there are some people out there who want us to believe that we're all alone. And if they teach us anything logically, if anything that we've ever learned uh, our, what, of, what of our logic if everything that we learned within our frame of what logic is supposed to be would state certain facts and certain things then if that's the case then we are God so we have the narcissistic godlikes we have the godlike people who, who believe they are the only one true God but if there was a divine being that created us all in his or her image, what if God wasn't a single being? What if God was a billion beings? What if God was the planet itself that we walk upon and piss and shit on, drill and plug and pull and prod and explode and blow up? What if God is the world we're on and we're just the hairs on its back? What if? So you say the Church of Scientology. I bet you if you look a little bit deeper in that book L. Ron Hubbard wrote, you'll find some plagiarism in it. You'll find some things taken from other philosophies that he was taught, that he studied, that were filtered throughout his brain through the you know, time in which he lived on this world. Just like you. You are God. Um, people... When they hear me say this shit, they look at me, you fucking crazy idiot. But no. We won't find true happiness and respect and freedom and salvation and joy and love until we all worship each other as equals, as gods.
Well, once again, I'm spouting out and I'm some insane fool, but if you look at every part of everything in every bit of a religion that you've ever heard, we were made in God's image. We were made to be in his or her image. We were human noid or human being or whatever. We're made to be like our so-called God. Or are we just led to believe that? And in saying so, by me calling you God, People will be like, oh, Father Judgment can't be God. I'm God. Well, they're right. Because God is a million different billions of, of lights and energies, all concentrated as one energy, will bring out the true God. In my philosophy, I might be wrong. I stopped going to church. I stopped believing and thinking in certain ways because come on man if my name was King James you damn right it's gonna be written in my favor wouldn't it be written in your favor if you had the power of a nation oh. what's this holy bible bible the bible bible holy the holy bible well let me read it oh whoa do the, the people do the, do for the people? Oh, no. Uh, no, uh, uh I got to change this. The Bible says nothing about me having total control. The Bible is not written in my favor. The Bible is written for us to all join together. I can't have that. Come in here, Squire. I want you to get all our best writers in here. I got to rewrite this Bible. And that's exactly what people have done in history. They've rewritten the Bible in their manner, in their fashion to suit them. Um, throughout our history, our true origin has been hidden from us. What if the aliens did come down? You know, pissed on a couple of plants and we popped up. Um, uh, check out the New World Order thing and when they uh, talk about the zealots and all that stuff. Check out that. And um, how they talk about this reptilian race mating with human beings to make us what we are now. But think about it. If you look at all these religions and everything that's ever been said about God and Christ and life and everything, what does it all equal up to? If every book says we've been created in some God's image, if all these uh, events with these strange planets and, and aliens and all this, what if all this shit is real? then we're the fools sitting down here believing in false gods, believing in false beliefs, believing in a belief system set up for us to believe the wrong information. What if we are God? You, me, her, him, them and us. What if these aliens did come down here and mated with us for own, their own personal survival? What if they came back and says, oh my God, we did this to this planet and we, oh, we have to destroy our abominations. That's what we truly are, abominations. We're sitting on this planet like cancer on a goddamn 1961 Cadillac, rusting away at its core. We're destroying everything that we are just to find out what we can believe. We, my friend, are made in an image created to be something that we are not living in a world that's not ours hoping for some salvation and justice from beings and, and, and life from far above and we can't even stop long enough to befriend the guy we can't stop long enough to help the girl we can't even feed ourselves we're fighting and destroying each other every day every city and every town in our country and all I can say right now at this point in my life, after all this stress and drama and all this bullshit, is there or is there in it? Is there a God or what is it? But all I can say is I don't know. I don't know what there is. But I wish I knew so I could tell you. But instead, all I got to say is this. You've been tubed.